in the society. The Nigeria Bar Association section on public interest wants President Bola Tinubu to investigate the Air Nigeria scandal which allegedly involves former aviation minister Hadi Sirika. NBA Spidel says this matter is a litmus test for the new administration if it wants to be seen as desirous of combating corruption in the polity. This year's National Conference of the NBA Section on Public Interest and Development Law is built to begin from June 20 in Lagos with the theme Post-Election Nigeria, the Judiciary in the Eye of the Storm. The section says that as aggrieved parties ventilate their grievances lawfully across various election petition tribunals nationwide, the judges should remain unshaken and dispense justice without fear or favor. In the electoral process, Presently, all eyes are at the various election petition tribunals. Other matters of national interest which were addressed at this news briefing include the uproar over the 85 billion naira Nigeria air relaunch, which observers have called a scam. If the assertion by the managing director of Nigerian Air, Mr. Dayo Lumide, during a Senate hearing that the aircraft said to be for Air Nigeria was merely a chartered flight, from Ethiopian airline to hoodwink Nigerians we enjoin Mr. President to institute a high-powered panel of investigation to unearth this large scale of scam that has turned Nigeria into a laughing stock in the global aviation community. NBS Pidel also calls for more drastic and well thought out economic packages to cushion the harsh effects of the new policy on all Nigerians. The government should have probably engaged the stakeholders, agree on the palliative measures, you know, before removal. But it has been removed. So the best thing they can do now is to create palliatives. And those palliatives should be comprehensive enough. Salary increase of civil servant alone is not sufficient because we have almost 80% outside the government employment. So if you increase salary of 20%, what of the 80%? So what do we do? that will be all-inclusive, that will now take care of majority of Nigerians. I think issue of mass transportation system. And then you can't rule out subsidy. In virtually, you know, the price of things should come down. The body calls on President Bola Tinobu to develop a zero-tolerance policy towards corruption and mismanagement of public funds.